Hello friends, so welcome to my channel Debug Will. In this video tutorial, we'll learn what are web configs and its transforms. The web.config file is the application's configuration file. It is typically used to configure an ASP.NET web application and define configuration settings for a web application. Let's see what are web config transforms. A web.config transformation file contains XML markup that specifies how to change the web.config file when it is deployed. When we deploy the application, maybe it's a live deployment or deploying to a staging server, we need to change our config file accordingly. And all those transformations that happens are called web config transforms. Now, in order to transform, first we need to locate the element that we need to change. For instance, if we want to change the connection string, we need to locate that element. For that, we need XTT locator. And then we need to change or replace or set for that we need XTT transform in this tutorial we'll learn about set attributes sets attribute for selected elements to the specified values the set attributes transform affects all the selected elements this is very important adds the element that is defined in the transform file as a sibling to the selected element or elements the new element is added at the end of any collection and this is how the syntax looks like let's quickly uh, flip to visual studio and try to understand how set attributes work this is a web application in this example uh, let's try to change this connection we have a web.live config let's cut this first we need to locate this element so for that we'll use xtt locator match name what this does it finds this element in the original web.config when creating the transform. Now it's time to change the connection string xtt transform set attributes. So now we have said find this mydb in the main config file and then set connection string to this. Let's now publish the application and see how the new config transform looks like. Right click, go to publish, go to profile, custom, live, okay, connection, we will select the file system, target location is the location where we want to put all the deployed files, so we will put the transform in this live folder, open, go to settings and this step is very important, we need to check the right config file. So we have changed web.live.config, we will take the live, click on publish. So our publish is succeeded, now let's go to the folder. So this is our new web.config file for the live, open in notepad++. So this is our new config file, let's copy it, paste it separately. Now you can see the name is mydb. The data source has been changed to release SQL server and initial catalog is changed to live DB. Let's flip to the slide. Difference between set attribute and replace. Replace transform attribute replaces an entire element including all of its attributes. Whereas set attribute enables you to leave the element as it is but change the selected attribute. Another important thing to know how to check the transforms without actually publishing. Let's flip to Visual Studio. And suppose we want to see how the final live config transform will look like. So we'll just right click and go to preview transform. So now you can see this is the original config file. And this is how the new config file will look like after the transform. That's it for today guys. I hope you like this video. Click on like, subscribe and comment. Thank you.